the ego is here because And he has passed the 23 mile mark. You can see that standard to the left side behind him as he's uh, in kind of the same stretch of road now alongside Central Park as the women are as well. We talked about how the pacing of this men's race had been so quick. He backed off just a little bit in the last five kilometers, came through 35K with a mark of 1429 but has about a 30 second advantage on Yeemer and a much different race unfolding on the men's side as the crowd now starts to anticipate this closing stretch on the women's race and O'Beary looks like she's beginning to turn on the legs a little bit and starting to make the turn here as they'll go into the park now. She's had such a great summer on the roads. She won the BAA 10K this summer, Beach to Beacon, Joan Benoit Samuelson's race. Oh, and O'Beary and look, Katie kind of getting a little bit close to each other. That almost was disaster, but they all found room to run. It, it was a, kind of a different, you know, race when they all were running slower. It was easy to have room and everyone was giving hand gestures to make sure that they could run. But now as things gear up, you got to find space to be safe. Koske now trying to reconnect with Gade and the other four. Yes, and you just see them inching forward. Obiri had the lead, but Loketti said, no, this race belongs to me. Taking a half stride between them, Jeff to reading it as she looks over to the right to see and anticipate what the other two are doing. This is a hotly contested race. I was talking to Abbott World Marathon race director from the Berlin Marathon, Mark Milde, who said he loved the starting line for all of the tension. I'm thinking the tension is equal right here as all of them are vying for position, waiting to make their move. They still have another gear in them, even though they're jostling around, but they are really winding up the tension within this women's race as it's come down to five very impressive resumes waiting to be crowned the 2023 New York City Marathon champion. Well, and everyone with a different motivation here. O'Beary winning Boston after a sixth place performance a year ago. Cheptu's made the podium, wants to improve on that positioning from a couple years ago. Locati wants to retain her New York title for the day. And the former world record holder, Koske, different motivations. Neither of them have ever been in New York. Koske just now no longer the world record holder. A fabulous finish setting up here with less than two miles to go. And the crowds have really come out in Central Park. We said earlier in the broadcast, this is not just a perfect day for running. It is a perfect day for the millions spectating along the streets. It's hard to strike that balance. But we did today, and we are looking at a spectacular finish in the women's race. Koskai, the former world record holder, off the back currently, but she's rallied before. Can she rally again and not let the women in front of her out of her sights? Don't give them an inch because every stride matters when it gets to this point in the race. Jep, too, second here two years ago, looking very strong. The Tezenbeck Gade has been behind the entire way and looks so strong. She has incredible foot speed coming from the track. Fastest debut in her marathon last year. This is only her second marathon, but this was an important and strategic one for her. All of them running here, they, they have a selection process in Kenya, so running well here might set them up well for this being selected for the Kenyan team as they drop the former world record holder on that slight incline. It was too much for Bridget Koskai. And you wonder whether missing her fluid bottle, if that was what happens in that last station, could come back to bite her. Now she was falling away on the incline. Now the benefit of an incline with a different direction is affording her a little bit of momentum and she is not getting herself out of this race yet. Now looking at 35 kilometers, the leaders came through at 204.45. You can see the difference again, about six minutes slower than that event record pace.
race. We'll be talking more about event record pace when it comes to Tola and the men's finish here coming up shortly. But this women's race setting up to be phenomenal. And we just have to mention for the moment that this field now does not include Paris Chepchichir, the reigning Olympic champion who up until a day ago was supposed to be in this race. And we still have a fantastic race on our hands. A lot of us disappointed to hear of Paris Chepchichir withdrawing from this race. We wish her a speedy recovery as she looks forward to Paris and hoping to get selected for her Olympic, Kenyan Olympic team. But a great race in front of us. Viola Cheptu, Helen O'Beary, Sharon Lochetti, the Tezenbeck Gaudet, and Bridget Koskei. Got to put you on the spot. Who looks the best? I think the Tezenbeck Gaudet looks really good. She's looked good the entire race, and she has run so patiently. But we get the most feedback from Helen O'Beary, whose coach said she's ready. We've seen her performances in the road racing circuit here in the United States all summer long, winning Falmouth, Beach to Beacon, the BAA 10K. The East Coast has been good to her as far as racing is concerned, and she looks really good. Sharon Lochetti has a lot on the line. She had a lot of naysayers when she battled injuries earlier this season and showed that it was behind her getting second in the Great North Run in September looking very strong right here, right now, was confident in her buildup, was really joyful at the press conference, coming coming back and trying to defend her title. They are now separating not just Bridget Koskai, but also Viola Cheptu falling behind. It is now a three women race again. Yeah, Cheptu took another look over her shoulder, trying to see where Koske was rather than focusing on the racers ahead. And you can see now Molly Huddle has been passed by Toll. And we talked about how the pace of that men's race was gonna close in much faster than we would normally see here in New York based on the staggering of the uh, the race starts for the elite women and elite men. So Tola getting the benefit of having some people in front of him to target the women now through 40K. So we're coming into the close they will re-emerge from outside of the park very shortly and then we'll make that turn on Central Park South. Another hill to climb there before they get to Columbus Circle and the race into the finish. Still those five women all within a few strides of each other. So no one out of this race just yet, but getting a lot tougher now as it's Koske that's passed uh, into, and moved into fourth position here as Cheptu has fallen to fifth. Yes, and you see Sharon Lochetti giving some hand gestures to Letezenbeck Gade saying, hey, you haven't led any of this race. Come up here and help us. And Gade is very conveniently tucked in, waiting to make a move. It is anyone's race at this point. They all look fantastic. fantastic. Bridget Koske is using a lot of energy. This is her third separation that she has come back up and reattached herself. That takes a lot of energy and a lot of fight. You can see it on her face. The more comfortable looks of Sharon Lochetti trying to defend her title. Helen O'Beary, calm and composed, knowing that she could tap into that track speed at any moment, along with Letezenbeck Gaudet, the world record holder in the 10,000 meters, waiting to strike. On the right-hand side of your screen, it's Tamarat Tola's day. He was fourth here twice, 2018, 2019. He's looking to crown himself champion in this year's race. He's a two-time world championship medalist in 2008. Two, he was the world champion in Eugene. Paul's proud of that one to claim that that title, and then silver in 2017 in London. So just really stamping himself in the marathon world in being able to claim this victory. So Tola in control of the men's race. So let's go full picture on this women's race. Closing in on the final moments here before they re-emerge from the park. And you can just start to see the strides along gate and the speed quicken. And this is going to be an all-out sprint for a New York City Marathon Championship here in 2023. At this point, you wonder how many gears they have left. Sharon Lochetti is really pushing here, trying to create a gap between her and O'Beary and Gaudet. It is so important.
gathering there now in Central Park South. This is where a lot of drama unfolds. The crowds are fantastic on both sides of the street. They know the finish line is just one turn away up ahead. They are reeling in that statue in Columbus Circle, knowing that that is their right-hand turn. Sharon Lopetti really pulling all the punches right now, trying to distance herself, but it looks like Helen O'Beary is matching every stride. The Tezenbeck Gaudet stand, standing one stride behind, really not being gapped, but you could see they're trying not to get hooked up here with their feet, those strides, strides elongating as the kilometers, as the breaths go on. I mean, this is reminiscent of like the final K in a 10,000 meters. G'day, just letting these two go battling toe to toe in front of her with Locati and Obiri. Both of those women have the benefit of running in this final stage of the race before. G'day has never done so, though you would assume that she got some experience running some portions of this race course, including that closing stretch, which does include sort of that downward slope coming out of Columbus Circle back into the park and then the gentle rise back up to the finish last year Locati won by just seven seconds the closest margin of victory is shared by the 2004 and 2014 races when Paula Radcliffe won by three seconds Katani won by three in 2014 it's going to be down to the wire here with these three women Obiri now to the lead Yes, and Letezenbeck Gaudet now on her shoulder. This is the first time we have seen her up front in the entire 40 kilometers before this. And what a foot race. You know, Sharon Lochetti, I wonder if she's thinking, I don't have the foot speed to match Obiri, who's a two-time Olympic silver medalist at 5,000 meters. I don't have the foot speed to match Letezenbeck Gaudet, the world record holder at 10,000 meters. If she wants to go, she has to go now. As you can hear the crowd sensing this moment and what's about to unfold is they'll take that right turn into Columbus Circle. Three women, including the reigning champion, Locati Nolan looks over her shoulder as almost a disaster as they come into the park. Look at what's setting up for a finish here in New York. Sharon Lochetti, the defending champion, now sitting in third. You see former world record holder Bridget Koskai in the back of your screen, but the fight looks to be between Letezembet Gade and Helen Obiri. It is Ethiopia against Kenya. The last time these two women met for a major title here in the United States, the world championship at 10,000 meters in Oregon. That time it was Gade winning her third consecutive head-to-head -head battle with Obiri. This time Obiri with the lead has to gauge this final shoot stretch very carefully as there's still a little bit of a rise to the finish. Does Gade have something to react with? unbelievable look at her going to her track arms that beautiful form smoothing out as she finds that last gear to make it to the finish they are doing a slight uphill right now can't even see that finish line in front of them and a grimace on obiri's face knowing that this is everything she has left pumping her arms using every stride to get her closer to that finish line latezenbet gaudet does not look like she has it within her to close that gap and I think now Obiri sees that finish line, the lean forward crest, the final hill. Here is the crowd assembled. There is the finish line tape. Helen Obiri in her debut in New York last year, finishing sixth. But boy, did she learn a lot of lessons, carried those lessons to a victory in Boston on Patriots Day in April. And here in the first weekend of November is now a New York City Marathon champion. Boston Marathon champion, New York City Marathon champion. What a year for Helen O'Beary. She really strategized this year to prepare for this race, did everything possible. We were told she was ready, and she showed us. And there's her coach, Nathan Ritzenheim, who coached her 